Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the, the most asked questions or most asked topics for the process engineers whether you are a fresher or experienced okay mainly this video will be inclined to the experienced process engineers okay who has that like who has the experience of more than two years right so what we will discuss in this video we will discuss the topics which could be asked okay in your upcoming interview right so mainly if you are a process engineer then what is the important topics which you must prepare before going to the interview so the first of all which i'll say that is whatever you are doing okay please prepare that okay and prepare the concept and basic also like for example if i'm a process engineer and i see the project of lng or oil and gas okay so i'll prepare my basic of my lng right or oil and gas or petrochemical if i I'm a process engineer in chemical EPC, for example, like let's suppose hydrogen peroxide, sulfuric acid, chloroalkali, etc. So I'll prepare first of all the production or the process or the process description of that process, right? And after that, I must know about the phase of the project. What are the phases of the project? For, for example, your conceptual design to the till the production, you can say, or the commissioning and handover okay you must know about that because that is very very important if you are experienced process engineer more than like two years okay then you must know about the basic engineering package okay i have already prepared the videos about it you can check it out that in the process engineering playlist what are the basic engineering package for example how you prepare the design basis how you prepare the process description how you prepare the line list wall list okay then control philosophy pnid pfd etc right so that is the some documents which could be asked and before that if you are the process engineer having experience two to five years then you must know about the line sizing hydraulics what are the procedure what is the formulas are used what is the concept okay that you must know pump hydraulics is frequently asked okay that is the very very important line sizing is asked then like interview interviewer could ask about the pnid how to read the pnid okay please write the line number completely pnid line number we can say okay how to prepare the pnid what is the procedure how to prepare the hmb some question could be asked okay what is the process which will be prepared before the pnid okay what documents you prepare before the pnid okay so these are the some topics which i think it could be asked then it depends how you are giving the answer for example if they ask about the pump okay so how or in depth how in depth you know about the pump okay so he will he or she will ask the question from that question or that answer i hope you got my point okay and mainly what i have seen if you are going for the interview they will perform the some calculation they will say they will say please perform the calculation of the hydraulics please draw a circuit of the pnid or pfd okay for example let's perform the a uh, circuit of the pfd then convert that pfd into the pnid then perform the hydraulics okay like that they could ask about the control wall they could ask the question okay because that is also very very important they could ask about the sort of pressure sort of head how to calculate the head how to calculate the discharge pressure okay these are the some topics or i think personally that is the very very important topics okay before what you do okay first of all you must know in which project you are okay and you must know the concept of that project okay what is the scope of yours in that project your means your company right okay now if your experience is more than three like five years or more than three to four years then you must know about the sizing of the vessel sizing of the heat exchangers okay sizing of the tanks and the question could be asked from there and the line sizing and the hydraulics is the common one okay now if you are not a process engineer and you want to be a process engineer you want to like enter into the process engineer you are a production engineer then what I'll prefer first of all your production knowledge should be best okay you must know about the production process for example I was in the 
uh, urea manufacturing plant right so i must know about the what is the process of the urea what is the technical know-how of the complete process that is very very important what will happen if the temperature will increase what will happen if the pressure will decrease like that then the basic knowledge of the all the documents which has to be prepared okay then after you can also uh, like join any online or in a youtube you can see the the process engineering skills for example line sizing hydraulics okay pump sizing how we do and how we do the control wall sizing compressor sizing etc because if you will know about it it will be definitely better for you in an interview right and somehow i what i have seen like uh, some in, uh, in an interview some sometime it is asked that how to prepare the pds how what is the pds okay what information we provide in the pds what information we provide in the pump data sheet what information we provide in the heat exchanger data sheet okay if we will not provide this information then what will happen like that the one thing what what you do okay the question could be asked from there okay i have seen so many times if i am a production guy and i am i am taking the charge of the vacuum section so i will ask the question from the vacuum section because interviewer wants to know that what is your like knowledge in that field and what is your common sense whether you are lying or not right and if you are a process engineer same what documents you prepare for example you prepare the pnid okay they will ask from the pnid okay if you say i prepare the data sheet so they will ask from the data sheet like that okay so these was the some topic which was frequently asked in an interview and i'll comment some a uh, commonly asked question okay I, i'll pin that in the comments box okay please see that also okay and prepare your interview and if it if this video helps you to prepare your interview please let me know in the comments box and in next video if you are a fresher so i will prepare the next video for the freshers as well okay so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching keep learning thank you